Hello everyone, for this tutorial video, I'd like to discuss relative extrema of multivariable functions, as well as critical points of multivariable functions. These actually use similar logic to what we proved earlier for single variable functions, but we will see that there is a slight twist to them, owing to the fact that they use multiple inputs at the same time. In particular, stated formally slash formulaically, Point a comma b is a relative minimum if and only if function of x comma y is greater than or equal to function of a comma b for all points x comma y sufficiently close to a comma b. And by similar reasoning, the relative maximum is about the same, but the difference in the formal statement is that the sign is flipped so it must be lesser than or equal to for the point to be maximum. However, it is important to pay attention to the fact that it is only arbitrarily close to a comma b, and it does not have to exactly be lesser than or greater than as the case may be throughout the entire domain of the function in order for it to be a minimum or maximum only around specific points close to a comma b. Which makes sense if you remember how relative extrema worked for single variable functions. On the topic of single variable functions, we remember we derived earlier that the derivative at a relative minimum or maximum is equal to zero, and that places where the derivative is zero or doesn't exist is called the critical point. And this still holds true for our multivariable functions as well. In particular, we can see that if the gradient is equal to zero exactly at a specific point, then this must logically guarantee a critical point because the gradient is the vector that gives us all the partial derivatives. So if the vector is zero, it follows all of its components would have to be zero as well. By similar reasoning, we can see if one of the partial derivatives doesn't exist, it guarantees that the entire derivative will not exist because of how the full derivative or directional derivative is a summation of partial derivatives multiplied by something. And we know by rules of arithmetic and algebra, if one term in the summation doesn't exist, then the sum won't exist either, and it doesn't matter what exactly doesn't exist. It will always be true as long as at least one term is like this. We can use Fermat's theorem again for multivariable functions by doing function of x comma y has a relative extrema at a comma b and seeing that g of x or the function where x and y are kept constants has a relative extrema at x equals i. Since we know g of x is a single variable function it follows that we can state its derivative equals zero at the critical point and see by what we defined earlier the derivative of g of x is also the partial derivative with respect to x at the point a comma b so the partial derivative with respect to x is also zero if we do the same thought process but use h instead to make it obvious that we are using a different single variable function now in terms of y instead we see that we get the same exact result namely that the derivative of h of y equals zero at the critical point and the partial derivative with respect to y also equals zero so we can see because all the partial derivatives are zero the gradient or the vector representation of all these derivatives at once must also be zero so we conclude that the gradient equals zero at a relative extrema or critical point of a multivariable function. Now that we have figured out how relative extrema work for multivariable functions, we can discuss absolute extrema next, and then discuss optimization problems involving multivariable functions next. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative and make sure to see other tutorial videos and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.